This is question 23 and it carries four marks. We're told Dan does an experiment to find the value of pi. He measures the circumference and the diameter of a circle. He measures the circumference C as 170 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. He measures the diameter D as 54 millimetres to the nearest millimetre. Dan uses pi is equal to C divided by D to find the value of pi. We're asked to calculate the upper bound and the lower bound for Dan's value of pi. With questions like this, I like to draw a little table. So what we're going to have is the following. I'm going to have a lower bound and an upper bound for both C and D. So if I just put these in, we can write this up. So if we consider now the following, this is going to be the lower bound. This is going to be the upper bound. I'm going to have C and I'm going to have now D. We're told that C is 170 mil to the nearest millimeter. So what I'm going to have is the lower bound is 169.5. The upper bound is going to be 170.5. If we now look at the diameter, the lower bound will be 53.5. The upper bound is going to be 54.5. So what we're looking to do now is find the upper bound. So what we've got then is pi is equal to C divided by D. If we want the upper bound, we're going to take now the largest value here and the smallest value here. So for this one, what I'm going to do now is take the upper bound of the circumference and the lower bound of the diameter. We want this fraction to be as big as possible. So we have 170.5 divided by 53.5. If we look at the lower bound, we want the value of the fraction to be as small as possible. So what I'm going to do here is take now the lower bound of the circumference and divide that by the upper bound of the diameter. So if I do that, I'm going to have now 169.5 divided by the 54.5. So let's go ahead and work these out. And I can write these here. So let's do that and we can go for the first one. So we're going to have now the 170, so 170.5 divided by the 53.5. And that's going to give me now 341. So let's write this here, 341 over 107. So upper bound is equal to 341 over 107 and just giving that as a decimal answer that's going to be now 3.1869 which is, let's put this here 3.1869 dot 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 so I'm going to say now that this is going to be 3.187 and that's now given to four significant figures. If we now look at the lower bound, we're not asked to give this to a level of accuracy. You might want to give it to three significant figures. If you do, it would be 3.19. If we now look at the lower bound, so the lower bound, that is going to be equal to the 169. So let's do that one. So we've got now 169.5, and we're going to divide this by 54.5, and that will give us now 339 over 109. So that now, is an exact fraction. So that is the exact answer, and then we can give a decimal answer and round that. So that's going to be 3.11, let's write this in, 3.1109 dot dot dot. So correct to four significant figures, we can say that this is going to be 3.111, and that's given to four significant figures. You can give your answers to three significant figures, but do show the workings that you've done.